Okay, this is the uh, cloakboard method. Um, this is the day of the graft. I did the graft very early this morning, uh, mainly because I knew which frame of larvae I wanted from another hive, and uh, I didn't want to wait till the afternoon. It may be too late. Um, uh, the idea is try to get the largest queens you can, and one of the ways you do that is to select the absolute youngest larvae. Ideally, you'd want it right after the egg hatches. That's not ideal, so most people say one day old or less. Um, so that's the criteria. There is a gallon of uh, sugar water on top in the deep box there, and also a pollen patty and they also have frames of honey and pollen in there. There is no brood in the upper box uh, other than the queen cells which we just grafted and put in this morning. And you can see the bottom entrance is blocked still. Let me zoom in here. Some bees still haven't gotten the message. But they'll migrate up and they find the second entrance. The slide is in today so this would be equivalent to the uh, starter in Larry Connor's method. Um, uh, there is a ton of bees in that upper box when I opened it up this morning. Uh, last night when I came down and looked at it, that entire front was covered with bees. So let me go around and show you the rear. I do, I did put a screen and some grass there. The bees can get out, but I think most of the bees are in the upper box now. There's one trying to check it out. Hopefully we won't have any robbers today. That's another reason I wanted to do it very early. Uh, in August, robber bees are always an issue. Didn't have problems in the spring, but it's tough raising queens in this nectar dearth. Well, there's one with pollen on it, I can see. So they're bringing pollen in from something. As you can see that. And that one hasn't figured out how to get in yet either. Oh, there he goes. Nope. So, anyway, uh, tomorrow we will pull the slide and close the back. And also check and see how many of the uh, cells are actually accepted. And at that point we will have to wait until they are capped and then you move the uh, cells to an incubator hive or uh, an incubator would be ideal and um, then you're good to go hopefully the wall will get accepted but my experience is highest success rate has been 87 percent so far but I was really impressed by the number of bees in this upper box so it may be higher uh, um, in the Connor method, I think 70, 70 some percent was the highest success rate I've had. So anyway, that's it.